In this video, we are going to be looking at the reactivity of phenol uh, in comparison to the reactivity of benzene. Now, we've looked at some reactions of phenol and benzene, and we've seen that they both react under different conditions. And we'll look at as to why that occurs. Um, and to start off um, doing that, we have to look at the structure of both of them. So we start off by looking at the structure of benzene. So we've got our carbon atoms in a six membered ring. We've got our hydrogen atoms um, also in the same plane as those carbon atoms. And each carbon atom has a p orbital with an electron that has not taken part in bonding yet. And those p orbitals are 90 degrees to the plane of the atoms like that. And the adjacent p orbitals will overlap like this to form a pi system above and below the plane of the atoms. So this is our pi system that contains our six delocalized electrons. Now, when it comes to the reactions of benzene, so for example, if we try to do the reaction of benzene with bromine, we know that this reaction doesn't occur just at room temperature and pressure and without um, the presence of a catalyst. Now, the reason for that is, is this benzene ring, this pi system that it has, is not electron rich enough because of the delocalized electrons to induce a dipole across our bromine-bromine bond. And if there's no dipole that occurs, we cannot have electrophilic um, substitution occur. So in order to do this reaction, in order to um, get it started, we have to have a halogen carrier present. So, for example, you could have FeBr3 or AlBr3. Um, um, either of those two would be fine. And what that does is it generates the electrophile in the first step forming this bromonium ion, um, which is our electrophile. And that can allow um, this reaction to now begin. OK, so for this reaction to go for benzene to uh, react with an electrophile, it needs to have an electrophile with a positive charge. It cannot induce a dipole um, across a bond um, to get the reaction started. So benzene is not electron rich enough to induce dipoles um, and therefore it cannot start off um, electrophilic substitution unless a positively charged electrophile is present. Now, if we look at phenol, we've seen phenol take part in reactions that don't require a halogen carrier or a catalyst. And the reason behind this is the structure that it has. So I'm just going to draw out the 3D structure of this. Um, so all the um, atoms in the same plane um, as each other. And again, we have our p orbitals 90 degrees to the plane of the atoms, like this. But now phenol has this OH group that is directly bonded to that aromatic ring. Now, our oxygen here has a lone pair of electrons, and those lone pair of electrons are found in a p orbital. OK, now when we have that overlapping of adjacent p orbitals, what we can see, what we can see is that that oxygen p orbital also takes part in um, that pi system over there. OK, so the same thing can happen below the plane of the atoms like that. And now we have a pi system that has uh, technically eight electrons in it now. Okay, so we've got the uh, lone pair of electrons from our oxygen and we've got the six that originally were there in our benzene ring. And now we've got a pi system with eight delocalized electrons, right? So in order to describe this, we say that the lone pair of electrons on the oxygen are donated into the pi system of the ring. And what that does is it makes our ring very electron rich. 
and because that phenol ring that sorry that um that pi system is now very electron rich what it can now do is induce a dipole across a bond so for example if we look at the reaction of phenol with bromine this reaction does not require um, a catalyst or a halogen carrier this reaction will occur at room temperature and pressure in the absence of a catalyst or halogen carrier because this ring this pi system over here is very electron rich it can now induce a dipole um, across the bromine bromine bond and that allows the reaction to occur and form the following products so it forms 246 tribromophenol and it also forms HBr and just to balance it like that. So this reaction, because phenol is so electron rich, it does not require a halogen carrier and this can happen in fairly mild conditions.